Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to throw out a big thank you for the people who subscribe to the channel. It's slowly growing and it just hit 600 subs. Wow. Truly appreciate it, guys. You're the best. Thanks for the support. Let's get on with the video. So this video is going to be a striking video. Some of the great things that JDS does in a cage and Francis Ngannou. So let's get into it and start with JDS. The slap left hook. JDS loves this combo slash setup. Since he has nasty left hooks, his opponents keep an eye out for them. He plays on that and throws a left hook slap, which is meant to make you flinch or react. The follow up right cross is the money punch he wants. You can see in the Derek Lewis fight, Lewis actually flinched with his eyes closed, fell for it, and opened up the window for JDS to land the crushing right cross. Beautiful boxing technique. One of my favorite weapons in all of MMA, JDS's uppercuts. They are things of beauty. He has some of the sickest uppercuts ever in mixed martial arts. They are so powerful and fast. He can even throw a lead uppercut with his left and get away with it. Beautiful mechanics and form. That's why he's one of the best boxers in MMA. Again, sets it up just like the right cross. If you look closely, JDS feints with a short left hand as he steps forward. Verdum tries to slap it away, leaves himself open to a hellacious right uppercut that flatlines him. Like I said, one of my favorite weapons in all of MMA, JDS's uppercuts. I touched a little bit on JDS's boxing mechanics and form. A lot of guys punch with their arms, they're really powerful, but their mechanics are off, they're not fluid, they don't use their body or core, no legs in their strikes. Look how JDS uses the right hand momentum to recoil back with a hard left hook on Gilbert Ivo. He shifts his weight so well, flows and uses the energy from the previous strike to propel into the next one. This is great boxing technique and flow. Again, some of the best boxing ever in the sport. Here's JDS with the solid basics and fundamentals again. The classic one two, left hand not particularly hard, distracts Kane and over the top with the right hand that lands. Beautiful and it doesn't get much cleaner than that. One more thing to add about JDS standing is that he does mix it up well. Kudos to him for not being totally predictable with just using his hands. He's really tried over his career to diversify his striking. He throws spinning back kicks out of nowhere, wheel kicks which is impressive for a big man. He tries to keep his opponents guessing while on the feet. JDS awesome striker. Now on to Francis. This is an obvious huge weapon in Engano striking. His freakish power. We all know he broke that world record I believe at the UFC Performance Institute. Whether that's valid or not who knows but for sure he has some of the hardest punching we have ever seen in the sport. He hits so hard that when he fought Arlovsky punching kind of wild winging it clips Arlovsky with a punch while he was stepping back, it still sent Arlovsky flying and crashing to the mat. Insane power. That short uppercut he caught Kane with as well. Not a lot of distance to it to get much velocity on it. Still, short clipping uppercut drops him. Scary punching power. He's like a real life Drago from Rocky IV. Whatever he hits, he destroys. Similar to JDS, good boxing for MMA. Not as clean and good as JDS technique wise. And Ghana throws a little more reckless, a little more wild, but he does have and does use good boxing technique. You can see here the classic one too, what all good strikers do. Combos, feints, and setups for the second and third blow to connect. I feel like some things with Ngano are a little bit overlooked striking wise because his scary power overshadows some of his other skills and attributes. He has great timing, reflexes, and accuracy. Even in a wild exchange, he can remain composed and find your chin. Really pay attention to that in Ngannou's fights. Even though he's punching kinda wild and hard, it's still measured and accurate. In the Overeem fight, you can see Overeem throw a right hand that Ngannou evades. Ngannou clips him with a short right hook then slips Overeem's left hook while Overeem is off balance and before he can readjust, Ngano clobbers him with probably the biggest uppercut to ever land in mixed martial arts. Damn near decapitated him. 
closing thoughts on the striking battle in this fight and how they match up. Some may disagree with some of my views on these two guys standing and that's okay, but I think JDS is the cleaner and more technical striker, while Engano has more raw power. They strike very similar however in many ways with their hands. JDS is more diverse overall, he throws more kicks than Engano. they both have great great uppercuts, some of the best out there period. Their hooks are lethal and powerful, crisp, sharp, they both really utilize true boxing technique in the cage. JDS more so as I stated in my opinion. This is going to be a great striking treat for the fans. I don't think these guys are going to take it to the ground. I did make a prediction and breakdown video in the breakdown playlist. I'm not going to make a pick in this video, but if you wanted to check out my pick for the fight, you can watch that video and I'll link it in the comment section. Guys, once again, truly appreciate the support, the likes, the subs, the shares. Really excited for this fight. I know you are too. And until the next segment, take care.